walking up now. Mayor's walking up now. Switch up. Mayor's walking up now. Is this still okay? Yep. Okay. Am I holding this? Am I in y'all shot at all? We don't need it. Okay. Thank you. All right, good evening. Uh, joining me here tonight is Chief Matt Nemeth with Jacksonville Sheriff's Office, Office uh, Fire Chief Keith Powers, JEA CEO Jay Stowe, Emergency Operations Center Director Steve Woodard, uh, and our Fire Chief as well. Uh, late this afternoon, ELSA caused damage throughout our city. Uh, we had been talking about this for a couple of days, and while it looked like the event wasn't going to be as serious as we thought it would be, we talked about the potential for flooding, for, for tornadoes, down power lines, and down trees. Uh, and tragically, we learned uh, late this afternoon that in the Artiga area, uh, a tree went down uh, and uh, we had a fatality. Uh, we had a fatality due to this storm uh, because of a downed tree. So uh, I would speak to that and just say that um, so unexpected and uh, prayers, thoughts for the family uh, and just uh, terrible situation that that happened. Uh, shortly thereafter, uh, we learned uh, what may have been a tornado in this area. Uh, again, down power lines, that will have to be confirmed by the National Weather Service. Uh, and, uh, you know, make sure that people are safe, uh, make sure that their power is restored. It, now is a time to remember, uh, we said it yesterday, we said it last night, we said it this morning, that weather is unpredictable things can happen. It looked calm this morning. It looked calm this afternoon. Our message was try to stay out of the streets, try to be safe, try to be careful. Uh, reminder, please uh, go to jacks.ready, jacksready.com. Uh, know what you need for your storm and hurricane kits. Know your evacuation zone. This is really early in the season. We're just outside of the July 4th holiday and we've had our first storm uh, and unfortunately we've had a fatality. Uh, so with that, I will turn it over to the CEO of JEA, Jay Stowe. Thank you, Mayor. Um, at the height of the storm uh, this afternoon, we had about 14 or 15,000 uh, customers out. That's down to between 10 and 11,000 now. We've got crews out working. Uh, if you have an outage and have already called in, then we have that in our system, and we are working to get, uh, get you turned back on. Uh, our focus is to keep uh, our customers, our employees, uh, and everyone safe uh, through this. Uh, we'll continue to work throughout the night into the morning to get everything back up and running. We also have crews looking at our water and wastewater system to keep that up and uh, running as well. Uh, right now, if you have uh, an outage, uh, you can call 665-6000 or go to jaa.com. Uh, our thoughts and prayers are with the family of the person that was lost today. Uh, and uh, we hope and encourage you to stay safe uh, and make good decisions uh, while you're going through this. Thank you. Hey, good evening. So when we got reports of the storm, um, we got crews out and started doing windshield assessments of the area. They're out doing those as we speak, uh, and they'll report back that damage, and then we can get a better idea of what's what's going on. The damage so far has kind of been uh, started about Goodby's Creek in San Jose and kind of came over this way towards I-95 and University. Um, so we'll get a better idea of that uh, tonight once we get those assessments back in. I do want to remind everybody that there are a lot of down power lines, a lot of trees that are leaning right now. Um, so to stay out of the debris fields, we don't need any other injuries or fatalities from this, uh, this storm that's, that's come through tonight. And the last thing I'll remind you, if you got a power outage, you know, to call JEA, like Jay said, if you've got a medical emergency or any other kind of life-threatening emergency, call 911. And, and 630 City is also uh, staffed tonight as well, should you have any other needs that need to be met. Good evening. For the last two days, we've been, along with the mayor's office and JFRD, messaging the uh, updates as we got them about the storm. And even though the storm veered westward and we didn't get as many uh, impacts as we uh, could have anticipated, we still have the tragic loss of life. So we would ask folks with the, with the uh, ground soaking that we have and with um, the rain continuing to come down, please, if you can stay off the road, do so. And uh, crews will continue to work overnight uh, on Phillips Highway to clear up the debris as well as pow uh, down power lines. So we'd ask you to avoid that area for the next uh, six to eight hours while they get that out of the way as well. Thank you. 
We've been in contact with the Red Cross. There is an apartment building that suffered some damage over off of uh, Powers Avenue, so they're on scene now to assist the residents that may have been impacted. And the area that we're in over uh, by Phillips Highway is a commercial area, so we've been in contact with the state. They've been in contact with the Small Business Administration, and we'll see what assistance can be offered at the federal level. A lot of the power is out over in this part of town, so a lot of the traffic signals are out. Please treat those as a four-way stop. And as you're out cleaning up debris in the next few days, please be very careful, particularly with chainsaws and other devices. So we'll give you more information as it becomes available. Thank you. And we're all available for questions. Kaylee with First Coast News, I have a question for Chief Powers. If you have an estimate of how many calls you guys have responded to today and the nature of most of those calls? I, I do not have an estimate. We haven't got all that put together yet because it's still ongoing. Can you also talk about the apartment building that has no power right now? Where is that and what is that called? Uh, it's an apartment complex over off of Powers Avenue. I believe it's 7,500 Powers. And uh, it looks like there's some trees down over there and power is out. Uh, once again, we have the Red Cross on scene along with uh, JEA, Public Works, and others who are assessing that. We heard about the fatality. Is there any word as far as uh, injuries reported so far? Any numbers on that right now? No, just the unfortunate uh, fatality. So what's been uh, dispatched so far as far as city resources and personnel? Do you have any numbers on that? Chief. Yeah, I do know that, uh, you know, obviously we have our resources out that are that are riding this canvas in the area of the known storm. I know Public Works, John Pappas and his team are out helping get some of the debris cleared up. And, uh, of course, JEA and their team are out getting the, uh, the uh, you know, the power line issue cleaned up. And I know there are some uh, contractors out that are doing the tree removal. As people wake up and they leave their homes tomorrow, like what do they need to know, be aware of, what actions do they need to take? They need to be aware of down power lines, leaning trees, limbs, that kind of stuff. Just they need to be careful where they step and where they're where they're moving around right now, because obviously, as you can see, like right here by us, there's tree limbs hanging up. There's uh, debris at the top of that tower, 100 feet up in there, and we don't want anybody to get hit by any of that falling debris. Do you have a timeline as far as like when uh, roads might be clear again that, that were impacted? Uh, any timeline right now? The road clearing here is as a result of the down power line as, as well as debris. The debris should take more than a couple hours. However, the down power lines will um, I actually leave that to uh, Jay if he can uh, speak to that. So we're going to have crews out in it all night long to, uh, trying to repair everything. Don't have an estimate right now, but we're going to continue to work on it all the day. I think the key is to be patient. Again, if you see a down power line, don't get near it, don't touch it call it in. If you see debris in the road, don't drive into it. If you see water in the road, don't drive through it. Stay away from it. Medical emergency, call 911. JEA issue, you can reach out on their website and call JEA. You can also call 630 City for other non-medical emergencies. Mayor Curry, you did touch on this, but this just being right after July 4th, so early in the season, what is your message once again for everyone in Jacksonville? Just be ready. I mean, look, when we started watching this storm going into the holiday, we didn't know where it was headed, but I was thinking, here we go, uh, end, of end of June, early July. Uh, and uh, as you know, we went to bed and we got some good news in the morning. Uh, it had shifted a bit away from us, uh, but we see even with that, we had a fatality today. Uh, we maybe had a tornado. Uh, we've been through this before. For those of you that have been through these hurricanes with us in Jacksonville over the last four or five years, you know there's been a couple of occasions where we've gone to bed and we've woke up with news. Uh, Irma and Matthew, both of which were serious events, you just never know what's going to happen. Go to jacksready.com. Know your zone. You do not want to be in a situation where we are calling for an evacuation and you are scrambling to know your zone. That's not a good feeling. That's not a good time to be on the website when a million people are trying to figure it out. Know it now and get your storm kit and your hurricane kit ready now. Mayor, in addition to the down trees, down power lines, we also saw the roof of one of these buildings just fly off. Some of the pieces are on that AT&T tower. They are concerned with the wind. If it blows off, it'll injure someone. Who will be responsible for helping to clean that up to make sure there are no further injuries? Uh, if it's been reported, the appropriate people in Public Works, uh, JSO and JFRD will make sure that the right crews are out there. But it's also a reminder, anyone that would suggest that even at this moment in time, that this wasn't a real event, uh, if it's your home, if it's your road, if it's your car, uh, if it's your family, this is an event. And that's what storms do. I believe I heard somebody say that if you don't have to be out on the roads tonight, uh, try to avoid that. Can you speak a little bit more to that? Are there certain areas that are 
particularly... No, I, I mean, look, I would agree with that. And that's, you know, some people would say, well, don't be alarmist. It's, we don't want to be alarmist. We don't want, there's no reason to live in fear. We've got some rain right now. We, we do have down power lines. Uh, we've got down trees. But if you don't, ha if it's not absolutely necessary, just don't be on the road tonight. Uh, I cannot confirm. I believe it may be in Florida. I, I, I don't know the answer to that question, but um, it's I've got I've had a number of phone calls. I just missed a phone call from Senator Rick Scott uh, and others. People are reaching out uh, as they've heard about that uh, unfortunate and tragic moment. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Yeah, so what I'm thinking is, because I don't really like having, I, I won't need this for the little flag, will I?